Why did that make a noise? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, Mark Hiss. Hello, welcome back. To the Pokes of the Yellows. Excuse me, you walked into my way as I was about to walk down. That was mean. <laughs> so, uh... We're gonna go find the gym. Actually, all of these recordings, uh, I think ever since I arrived in this town, have all been done in pretty much one or two sessions over the same weekend, so... I'm actually recording these in bulk right now. Mainly because I want to get them done. Uh, I want the, the next series that, uh goes up on the channel is uh, hopefully going to be a very specific one and I don't want to miss my chance to do it as soon as it comes out and I don't want to end up putting this on hiatus for that so are we all set up to go into the gym I mean I'm here now I, I could do with getting rid of the good rod but it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure I stay at space I could increase the power of a move what's this I don't need rage He's right, Candy. Uh, no, I think I'm all. Set. I might want to move super potions up. I'm pretty sure I don't need escape rope, so I'll, I'll put it right there. Escape rope. Escape rope. <laughs> all right. So there's the gym leader Koga, and here's my Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, child like you dares to challenge me. You kind of look like uh, a janitor, Does, doesn't he? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master to confuse my enemies. She fills spare poison and sleep techniques. So unlike the rest of his gym, I think he uses primarily poison types. He has four Pokemon. Venonat! <laughs> like I said, Nobody else in the, in the gym has a Venonat, which is kind of surprising. It's Psychic Time! Level 44! I am so glad I went on the roots. This would have been disastrous without that. Also, are you serious? Two Venonats in a row? Is that all you have? Stadium's gonna sweep this if you just have those. Okay. Um. I mean, they are gen they are getting stronger and stronger, but Daydream's still tearing through them. Please grow a level there. Yes. <laughs> I grow a level. And then he's ending off Venomoth. This is the battle. Let's see how many hits it takes, because, dude, you're not even attacking this turn? I think we won. I, I think at this point we won. Why is it with the gyms and being so lackluster? Every, every Pokemon I've lost has not been anywhere near a gym. Oh, that was super, but Psychic is also super. How did he die so quickly? Daydream could have actually afforded to be a few levels lower, actually, so I don't think I needed to go on that route. But you saw that the gym leader was much higher levels than really he had any reason to be at this point. I'm so glad I went down that route first. Because I was considering using a different Pokemon to start out with. Surf outside of battle! Yes, we have extra. We can go. And a TM. Toxic, uh, you didn't even get to use that on me. So, uh, the trainers apparently were a lot tougher than the leader. Huh. And the leader had a level 50. Uh, let's just keep that in mind. The leader had a level 50, but wasn't as good as the trainers that had level 30-somethings. Yeah. And, uh, now we're at the point where we can pick our team again. Alright, so the next gym is a Psychic Gym. However, there's a few things that are going to occur before that. In fact, there's quite a lot of things that can occur that are going to occur before that. What we've currently got on our team, and that's now no longer locked, until we leave this uh, town, 
is we have all these people. We have Daydream, Blur... God damn it. Daydream, Blur, Quaking, Jawbreaker, Doomand, and Birdsworth. I'm immediately going to say we're going against the Psychic Gym. I don't think Doomand's going to be a good choice. He's also a lot lower level than a lot of my other Pokemon. In fact, he's my lowest level at the moment. So I don't think Dooman's going to do very well. However, we could evolve him and he could be a whole lot better. And we're going to be going against the Team Rockets next, so he might be useful in that regard. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, he's not. I'm going to bring Dooman out of the party for this one. And we probably won't see him again until, like, the ground gym at the end, near the end. So... What else do I not really want? Uh, Blurt's got Surf. I want to keep Blurt with me for Surf. Also, he'll be great for when we uh, fight the Team Rocket boss again. Uh, Daydream's going to be pretty good for all the Team Rocket stuff. Plus the gym. Plus he's our highest level. Uh, Quaking, I'm not sure about. He's not the greatest Pokemon right now. But, he does have quite a decent coverage. If I look at his stats, he's got a fighting type move. Not great against much, but... Uh, You'll see where we go with that. He's got a normal type move. Again, not great against much. Rock Slide, which is a rock type move, which can be useful against flying types and fire types and other types like that. And he got Frash, which is a very powerful move. So yeah, I think I want to keep Quaking in. I'm going to keep those three at least. Now Jawbreaker is starting to fall from grace a bit here. He was really powerful and I don't really want to lose him at this point with that Hyper Fang. But it is starting to lose its power. So I'm not sure if I want to keep Jawbreaker in or maybe bring in Sleepy Jack. Eh, hmm. I don't think I have another flying type to replace Birdsworth. In fact, the PCs are a bit full right now. So I'm going to put Doomand in, because I know I'm getting rid of Doomand, unfortunately. Uh, actually, we do, don't we? We have... Uh, what's it called? Let me just uh, look at my list. We have Headsy, a Doo -do 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 -do. So we could replace him. Uh, LOP is... Goldine. Right, we don't need that. Egg sample is execute. Mother is Cubone. Oh, Marowak. So let's change to our first box because I think that's going to have some more Pokemon in it that we can utilize. Okay, so we got Tadpole. No. No. And there's Headsy. Now we could use that to replace Pidgeotto. I want to keep Pidgeotto in because I want him to become a Pidgeot. And he's close to doing that. So I want to keep Pidgeotto in. I know the box is full. I just want to have a look at my list. Thanks, game. I want to keep Birdsworth in. He's two levels away from evolving. Which means he could get a lot more powerful all of a sudden. And he's 16 to his next level. He also has the flying moves and fly. So I think it's worth keeping him in. Jawbreak is the one I'm not sure what to do with. Whether to keep him in or to swap him out for something else. I built up Jawbreak so much that I don't want to get rid of him. And yet, I don't think it's worth keeping him. Let's see, what else have I got? I have an Onyx, I'm a Chop. I got, I got a list here, by the way. I probably won't be able to put it on the screen. Okay, so we've got an Onyx, a Machop, a Squirtle. Uh, that, we've already got that. That's actually a Blastoise at this point. I need to update my list. <laughs> a Paris, a Bellsprout, Zubat, Spiro. We have Mankey from the start of the game. Uh, Luffy. Snasher is Onyx. And Stuplex is Machop. We got all those. How many fast Pokemon do we have? We have Birdsworth. 
His speed is 63, but it's got to evolve. And Jawbreaker. So we definitely need a fast Pokemon. If we're going to replace him, we need something fast to replace him. Uh, Battlebird is Spiro. I can get a Zubat and go for Golbat. No. Um, I can bring Nidorina in and just fill up my team. No, that's no good. There's a Clefairy, an Abra, Graveler, Sandshrew, Gyarados, Gyarados, Gyro! I never thought about that. We can bring Gyro back. He'd be fast, then he'd be powerful in a, in a well, non-physical way. We already have Blurt, though. Uh, Surprise? Bulbasaur? I, I've got Blurt. And I just got rid of my grass type, my grass poison type anyway. Uh, Trip Dip. Actually, Trip Dip became a Jolteon. That means electric type moves. Huh. Also, it's fast. I think we just replaced Pikachu. <laughs> I think so. Fly. Uh, all those are part of my team. We can bring Dark Dream in. Now that's a Ghastly. It's going to have moves that are super effective against Psychic Pokemon. It's also going to be weak to Psychic type moves, which is a downside. However, it does have a huge coverage. If it gets to its... Well, if it won't get to its final form. That's another problem. Uh... Sleepy Jack is another power one that we already have. We've already got these three. Who are basically power and defense. Between the three of them. So we don't really need any more like that. Uh, and then we just got all the stuff we got previously. I think we're going to go with the Jolteon. I am going to choose the Jolteon. It's not really got any special uh, thing I can put it up against really. It'd be nice to have Trip Dip in the party. And that's another fast Pokemon in our team. Now, of the Jawbreaker. Remember, we still need one more Pokemon after this. How about something with a special defense and physical attack? We got anything like that? Sleepy Jack is all I can think of. However, that is a Snorlax and it's slow. We did just put a Jolty on him though, and that's fast. Let's actually have a look at what uh, Sleepy Jack has actually. Uh, is he in the other? Oh! Duh! Now, Sleepy Jack is five levels lower than, than Jawbreaker. Now he's paralyzed. Okay, the moves he has is Headbutt, Amnesia, and Rest. He really does not have much, does he? The Headbutt's pretty powerful. Amnesia's great for a special, but not for anything else, really. And Rest. I might have some moves he can use, though. And I might be able to get some moves for him. He also has a very good defensive ability because his special's high. Is it special defense he has? Or is that later generations? He has a very high attack, uh, for especially for his level. You know what? I'm going to go with the whole rule. I know I, I, I keep thinking I'm going to get rid of him, but uh, it keeps coming back to... Yeah, it keeps coming back to, there isn't really anyone I can pick to replace him. Like, he just has that part in the team and I can't see anybody else having it. So for now, we're going to have Jawbreaker in the team. I'm not taking him out. I'm actually, I'm actually keeping Jawbreaker in the team. 
Yeah, and the game saves whenever you change the box. Yeah, so I'm not actually losing Jawbreaker from the team. Uh, Trip Dip's our new Pokemon. And look at that speed. <laughs> 73 and he's only level 25. And his special's pretty high too. He just doesn't have very many moves for it. I might still have Thunderbolt somewhere. Which would be extremely good for him. At the moment he only has uh, basic standard moves. And I believe he can only learn basic standard moves until we give him TMs for him. So what I want to do, I actually want to put some stuff in the box. And withdraw some stuff. Let me just close my list. So I can see our timer. Okay, I want to deposit the... Rare candy. I think I want to put the TM20 in. I think that's just rage. I'm actually also going to store the PP up. And finally, the good rod. Oh, and we got TM6, which is toxic. Yeah, I'm not going to be using that. <laughs> now I, I'll withdraw. Red County's right at the top with six. We have six of those. Uh, Dome Fossil. I could get that done if I go a specific route. No. Not right now. Hyper Potion, Town Map, Ether. Wait, don't he has the ethers out. Full restore, max potion. We don't need those right now. I have two moonstones, so I could evolve Pokemon like Poppy and all that. Which I should do. But I'm not going to because, I don't know. I'm just not going to. I don't remember what half of these are. Coin case, lift key. Why do we still have an X accuracy? Uh, let's withdraw TM4. TM34. Forty-four. I just keep going until I got out of all the ones that I can. Twelve. I know it's, it's going to take a bit of time to get all these. There's a lot. Wait, wasn't 30 the, um... No, maybe it was 20 that was the rage. I don't remember what numbers were what. I have a great memory! Can't carry any more items. Okay. So let's see what I can uh, learn. This music's going to get annoying. Very quick. <laughs> I'm sorry if it already has. Chances are it already has. He can't learn whirlwind. There's no point teaching him by. I don't think he needs rest. I don't think you can learn that, but I'll check. Nope. But there's a lot of people that can. And it's not very good because I've got a surf already. Mega Punch. I don't think he has fists. But I could teach Mega Punch to somebody else. It's too bad Jawbreak can't learn it, even though he has fists. Well, if I ever need it, I know where to get them. Thunder Wave. Okay. I'm going to teach that to Trip Dip. Uh, Growl? I think I'll ever have a use for Growl, to be honest. Okay. What, what number were we on? That's Bide. That's rest. That's water gun. So we're on TM1 now? No, that's Mega Punch. So it's after TM1. 
which only has one, which is TM3. So none of those. Let me just see what's at the highest of the list. TM4 is going to be the first one I put in. So it's going to be four onwards, okay? It's a TM4 downwards. I know this is taking a long time. It does because the systems aren't very good on this. It's not designed in that way. Also, I didn't check to see how many ethers I had. Oh. I'm actually going to put Max Ether in as well. There's something I probably should have done at the start. Oops. I'm pretty sure I don't need escape rope at this point. I'm going to hold on to it just in case, though. Ah, oh, shoot. Which TM was it? <laughs> Which TM was it I started on? I completely forgot. My brain just dropped it out of my memory. These are probably the most boring episodes when I'm just doing this. Uh, it was... Was it TM6? I think it was TM6. No, because... Did I already have a Max Efer in here? Yeah, I did. Hmm. I'm actually thinking it's somewhere around here. Six and four. Oh, it was probably 34, actually. So let's get back to the top of this list. And withdraw that. Before you all go, <laughs> go mad from the noise of the Pokemon Center. I always go one too far down. I waste like an extra step. And if I ran slower, I wouldn't get to them in time. I mean, it would take ages to get to them. Was it 34 we were at to the thing? It's good because it lines them all up again. So actually, this beyond this point, they're all lined up. Okay, I can't carry any more up to TM6. Okay, 24. Thunderbolt, that's what I wanted. Trip Dip, you are now learning Thunderbolt. Wait, Jawbreaker can learn that? I will swap out to Hell Whip because I don't think he's going to need a use for that. Especially since I'm trying to make him special orientated. Horn Drill is unacceptable! It's against the rules. Double Edge might be a good thing to use, but I don't think Trip Dip should use it. I'm actually more concerned that Drawbreaker might want to use it, actually. This is a powerful move. Hmm. I'll come back to TM10. Nobody needs Dream Eater. Counter's pretty good. No. Double teams, not much use. Egg Bomb, not much use, unless you're an Egg Pokemon. And Enrage, not much use. You know what? I think... I'm actually going to teach Double Edge to uh, Jawbreaker. Because Hyper Fang may be powerful, to a degree. But it's losing its edge. We need something that can defeat him one hit. I know he's going to take damage from it when he does it, but uh, I feel like that's the best way we can go. Also, I probably won't use it on anybody else. So if I ended up not using it, it wouldn't make any difference. Okay, let's deposit whatever's left. 
Encounter might be useful. I'm not sure. Maybe later on. I don't quite remember how it works. I think it's one of those ones where you attack second and do more damage. If that's the case, I need to put on somebody who is slow. <laughs> So it was up to 34, wasn't it? So I've only got a few left. I'm pretty sure they're not going to need any of the others. Uh, that's 34. So I just take TM4. Let's just have a look at these. Am I sure it was TM34? I don't know, but I think what I want to do is I also want to look at the HMs as well. I know that's cut. Uh, two is something. I think five is flash, isn't it? I know, I was doing it in order at first and then I changed my mind. Now just grab all the HMs. See if anybody can learn one, or if it's any use to learn any of them. Uh, TM6. Oh, Toxic, that was the one he gave me. And then Whirlwind, which was useless. It was actually TM4 I was supposed to start it. Nobody wants to learn cut. Okay, I don't need it for this next gym actually up to this next gym so that's at least useful but who can load it no one so this team would be not viable to go anywhere else so good job we're going to Silco. Uh, that's fly birds web is the only one who's able to learn that which is why we still go to the team flash i've already got on a pokemon and it's pretty terrible Okay, Surf can actually be learned by both Blurt and Quaking. So if I wanted to take Blurt out of our team, I could use Quaking, but it's not going to be very powerful with him. Considering he's physical orientated. And same with Strength, only they can learn it. Interesting. So it's a good job we don't need Cut. Because otherwise, I would actually need to switch my team around again. Ah, uh, it's Pokemon. I wanted item. I want to deposit everything I've got. And what this will do as well is it'll put the HMs behind the TM. So if we do this, God damn! I put the super rod in. I do need to rearrange it, but jeez, I didn't want to do that. So the way that what do you want to deposit thing comes up as well. Because it does, it goes, what well, do you want to deposit? And then you go to press a button to click that across because you click everything else across. And you end up just clicking in whatever's at the top because everything at the top is always, for me, something that just goes straight in without multiples of it. I would like to withdraw what I just put in the... There. Oh, it's the Super Rod, not the Great Rod. What am I talking about? I've been calling it the Great Rod this whole time. All right, let's rearrange my items a bit. First of all, Rod. I want that as the second item on the list. And as a third item on the list, I want the Super Potion. Healing items are fine where they are. Poke Flute needs to be a healing item. Now, I'm going to put it there. Making it accessible. And then Paralyze. Can go by Elixir. You know what? I think I'm going to put the Elixir away. Also, Escape Rope and Ultra Ball need to swap places. I think I'm going to put the Elixir away because I don't tend to use it. I never seem to have use for them, so... I know I'll probably need them, but now that I've... I don't even know what they do. That's one of the things. I don't even know what they do. 
I'll probably use them like a late game or something. You sound like they're that kind of use of an item. This also gives me more space. Uh, I'm gonna heal everyone up because I'm not sure. Switch trip dip to the front. Uh, Birdsworth. Quacking. <laughs> Our team's like moved around a lot. Trip Dips are a new team member who, again, I need a name for. I will probably call him something else. I don't know what to call him. And what we're gonna do is we're now going to fly to Saffron City, which is the place of our next gym. Believe it or not, it's not the it's not the second to last gym. It is actually, according to our list. It's the next gym to go against. Which is what we've all set up for, I think. Did we set up for it or did I just pick a random extra team member? I think I did. <laughs> I think that's what I did. Oops! <laughs> Jailbreaker and Quaking are interchangeable, but Quaking has more health. And we want to heal up before we go out. I think we've had enough of this Pokemon sound, uh, Pokemon Center music. So, in the next episode! Hello, Rocket. Okay. In the next episode, we will head into the Silvco office building. We'll cross the, we'll cross the road and go, go to, to the office building. And we will solve their problem, basically. I'm going to save. We'll solve all their problems. We'll trip dip out of front. I'm, between episodes, I'm going to bring tri trip dip up, up to at least level 30. And he's basically acting as our Pikachu at this point. <laughs> he's very fast. That that gives him an advantage. And I believe he's very special and speed orientated. Yeah, so he's speed and special orientated. So he's pretty decent at that. So as long as we go with special moves, we should be fine. I do kind of want to switch his sound attack. with a quick attack. But anyway, we're done with that. Did I save? I don't remember. I think I did. So thanks everyone for watching, but for now, we're done here. See ya! Come on screen. There we go. I might be sitting a little bit to the... The right? The left. I don't remember if the camera's inversed or not. That's something I need to look into. Huh.